Hi, welcome back, uh, Hananiga Algebra 1 students. Uh, this is the last lesson of 10-4, and the first page of the notes here is a uh, partner exercise, and ultimately what they're trying to get you to do is talk about what's known as inverses. So looking at F and looking at G, looking at the inverses. So now here's what I want you to understand, and ultimately I'm going to go right here because this is where it probably makes the most sense. So if F x is 2 and y or the f of x is 4 and then the other one it's 4 2 so what do you notice about the 2 or 3 9 and 9 3 is what ends up happening is the x and the y switch places so anytime we're talking about inverse we're talking about the opposite we're talking about the basically you know if x and y switch places that is an inverse. So that is what the next slide is going to show you here. I'm going to plot some of those uh, points here just to give you a visual as to what's happening here. So I apologize for that. got interrupted there. So I'm going to plot the points from the first screen. So we got, and I'll do them in different colors to make things a little bit easier. So we got 0, 0. 0.5, 0 0.25, so right here, 1, 1, 1 1.5, 2 2.25, 2, 4, 2.5, 6.25, 3, 9, and 3.5, 12.5, okay? So there's the first one, okay, going along here. Second one, and again, I think what we need to understand is the graphs of these are going to be opposites of the, the other ones. So here we go, 0, 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, still 1, 1, 2.25, 1 1.5, 4, 2, 6.25, 2.5, 9, 3, and 12.5, 3.5. So again, the graph goes this direction. What you'll notice is that every point on one mirrors a point on the other. Okay, so there's an imaginary line down the middle here. There's an imaginary line down the middle here. In which every point from one will mirror a point from the opposite one across the y equals x axis. So again, this is just an opportunity to see the two graphs and what the inverses would be. So here we go. Notice, negative 4, 7, the inverse is 7, negative 4. 4, negative 5, the inverse is negative 5, 4. So again, you are switching the inputs and the outputs. So A comma B is the same as B comma A in the inverse. So this is an inverse relation. So on the next slide, this is going to be pretty simple. If I want all the inverses, I am taking the x and taking the y and switching places. So if I want, again, they're doing an input output the other direction. So negative 2, 4 would be 4, negative 2. 1, negative 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, and 4, 2. So again, I'm taking the inputs and the outputs and switching them. So A comma B becomes B comma A. Now, when you're talking about graphing, first one, we're going to take the original equation and make it a Y. And then the inverse, I'm taking the X and the Y and I'm switching places. So the x and the y switch places. And then solve for y. So this is 1 fourth x plus 9 fourths equals y. So there's the inverse. Here's the original. We're going to graph both of these. Now the original is not bad, but the inverse is a little bit tricky. So negative 9. with a slope of 4. Two, three, four over 1. So there is the original line. The inverse now, 
Y intercept at 2.25. The slope of one fourth. Up one over four. Up one over four. So there's the inverse graph. So again, just recapping what I did, I took the original line, I switched X and Y, then solved it for Y and graphed both. Y equals negative X plus five is the original question. Switch X and Y and solve for Y. So divide by negative one. So now graphing both crosses the Y axis at five with a slope of negative one. There's the original line. Second one crosses the Y axis at Um, I apologize, got interrupted again. Um, crosses the y-axis at 5 and also has a slope of negative 1. So actually the inverse and the original are the same line. And that doesn't happen all the time, but it did in this case. All right, so the original... y equals 1 fourth x minus 1. There's the original equation. The inverse, I would take the x and the y and switch places. So x equals 1 fourth y minus 1. Solve for y. So I'm going to multiply everything by 4. So 4x four plus 4 equals y. So here we go. Here's the original and there's the inverse. So it crosses the y-axis at negative 1 with a slope of one fourth. There's the original line. The inverse crosses the y axis at four and has a slope of positive four, up four over one. So there is the original line and its inverse. Now, explain the steps you would take to do the inverse. You were going to take the original question. You're going to switch the X and the Y, and you're going to solve it for Y. So X over 3 plus 4 thirds equals Y. So the original and the inverse. I am not sure if this is the actual assignment. Okay, please make sure you check the Google Classroom before actually doing the assignment. We may turn this into a worksheet, and we may cut down some of the problems. But good luck. Hope everything goes well. If you have any questions, make sure you talk to your teacher. Hope you'll be safe.